Hello everybody, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to add text to your photo to kind of create a really neat um, photo text effect. Now, um, the first thing I wanna talk about is I'm using a free program called Photopia. Um, it is a browser-based program, so you can reach it from any computer. We're gonna be starting with this. Um, you can see the link right up here. Uh, we're gonna be also showing how to do this exact same uh, style and different styles of text editing in different free programs that are browser-based. So I hope you, if you don't find what you want in this one, maybe watch the next one so that you can figure out which program works best for you. So to start off, when you are doing one of these, you want to make sure that you start with an actual usable um, file or whatever, whatever you're going to send this to. So for instance, like if you want to put this on your Instagram story, here's your Insta story size. If it's going to be just straight up Instagram, then that could be it. I haven't done an Insta story in a while. And I feel like the picture that I edited would probably actually work best in that particular style. So I'm going to say that's my size and I'm going to name it flower and I'm going to click create. So now that I have this, what I'm going to do is I am going to drag and drop in my flower that I edited using Photor, which is this app right here. And this one's really good for um, your first initial editing part of your assignment, especially if you want a little bit more help and assistance as you're editing. It has a little bit more easy um, uh, user friendly uh, toggles and stuff. So here we go. So now I'm going to drag this out so that it actually fits. And to keep it uh, proportioned, I am actually um, holding down shift as I bring it out to kind of try and keep it proportioned. It's a flower, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so there we go. We've got it now centered. It's about where I want it to be, and I'm good to go. So now I'm going to what the next thing I want to do is I'm going to be putting um, my words over a like a brush stroke. I want to kind of create it this uh, like the words. So it otherwise, if I put the words right over this, I'm worried it's going to get blended into all the edges of the flower. And if you have a busy photo, this is a technique that's good to kind of make it so that your words do become front and center. Now, one easy way of doing this is going and Googling um, PNGs, and usually you can find a decent amount of PNGs for um, the brush stroke, but I decided I wanted to use gold, and so gold is actually pretty hard to find an actual PNG for, so I ended up finding a gold brush stroke that is not a PNG. It has got white background. It's a JPEG. So I'm going to stretch this one out. Um, I don't, I want it to be a little bit longer than the actual size here. And to get rid of the background, because it's a plain white background, I'm going to go over into <clears throat> the selector tool, the quick select or magic wand right here. And which is located in the same place that is is in Photoshop. So if you are trying to learn a program a little bit better, um, using this will actually help you to understand Photoshop a lot better. The transition from Photoshop to this is quite simple. So here I have um, this. Notice how I can't click on it. That's because the, the, side, the, the layer is rasterized just like it would be in Photoshop. So you want to go into here and rasterize your layer and then you should be able to click on it. Did I not there we go. Now I'm on magic wand tool. And it's because I wasn't selected quite right. All right. So now I've got this now, as you can see right here, I've got these little white marks. If I delete, you can still see the little white marks. I want it to be a little bit softer. So I'm going to go into feather. I'm going to feather it by like, let's say 10 pixels. Let's see what happens. So once I've said that, so now I feather it again. And I unselect. Now it's got a little bit of a background. Now, as you can see, it also feathered the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eraser to finish that off. I'm going to make the eraser a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to be able to clean it up. I want the eraser bigger than that. Here we go. So now I can clean up this real fast. So now it does kind of have this halo around my brush, but at least it isn't like a white line. It has a little bit less obvious, not perfect, but I, I like it a little bit better than it was before. So I'm going to put it right over here 
and I'm going to look and see what it has for blend blending options. So dissolve, darken. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Lighten. So I haven't found, I think I just want to keep it as normal. I always like to try that out though, because just in case, just a little bit of futzing will make it better. Um, I'm also kind of playing with the opacity a little bit. I kind of like how you can see through a tiny bit. It gives that water, gold watercolor look. All right, so now I want to put in my words. So um, you want to have your quotes set aside so that you know what to say. Uh, so I am going to go into my text bar and I'm going to click where I want it. Now you can move it at any point. Um, so I'm just going to put in some test words so I can see it. So I'm going to put in tester. You can see it's really small. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it a hundred to start. And you can, you have to highlight it. Now that it's at 100, there, that's about the right size. So now that I have it tested, it's time to go look through the fonts. Now, the reason why I'm choosing this as my first one for fonts is because there are so many more fonts in Photopia than there are in um, Photor or Pixlr combined. And Pixlr are the other two free apps that we often use. And if you look in here, so I'm going to go in here, these are the different styles of fonts, if you click them, then they come back in. So as you can see, as I click them, more appeared. So if you know you only want a handwritten style, you can unclick everything else except for the handwritten ones. And so the handwritten will then show up. And then same with the different like languages and stuff. If you know of an exact font, let's say you want a brush font, you can look up brush. So then it'll show you anything that is named brush. So I found a few different types that I like. It loads them in. You can try out a few of them. There are hundreds and thousands of fonts in Photopia that you can use to kind of help you find just the right one. So you want to type in your font then once you find it. And then you want to also change the color, which is this black box up here. I'm going to go to white to start off to make sure it looks right. And I'm going to go over here. So as you can see, it's got that white look. I am not a, I'm not a fan of how it's looking with this gold. So this is something that you have to remember is just because you've kind of finished one piece of it doesn't mean you have to stay stick with it. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to try something. Um, I'm going to go to hue and saturation and see if maybe if I change my hue, if that helps. Yes, definitely better than the gold because now you can actually see my white font coming up a little bit more and then it kind of blends in more. Also, I'm going to bring down the saturation. Ah, there we go. Just a little bit higher and a little bit lighter. Perfect. So now I've got a little bit better matching thing. So if you go in and you've added something, you've edited something and it's just one color and you're like, I just don't think it matches anymore. Just go into your image adjustments and hue and saturation. Um, there's also, these are the shortcut keys. It'll show on your computer that allow you to use that particular command. And then you can just change that color to match what you want it to do. So that's a little bit on how to just add overlay uh, text onto your image. Um, remember, just as a just a review, to go to the T, which is your text. Type in tester to start. Highlight it so you can see it. So highlight it like that, and then this is your color. This is your size. This is like this would say bold if there are other sizes to it. Not all of the um, different fonts have sizes. You can search a font. You can select the style of font you want. Otherwise, you can just peruse all the different previews of that font, see what it looks like in your picture. And then you, once you're done and you've got it tested out, then you can type in or you can type in your actual phrase if you want that. Also, something you should think about is, so if you say this is a test, Notice how it is all to one side. Let's say you wanted it centered. If you go to here, it'll center it. So just like it does in Microsoft Word, it's in the exact same location up at the top once you're in text. So just another piece that you can actually change with it. The other thing is if you want it swerving or moving in a certain direction, you can actually 
change these. Oh, you can't change them right now. Oh, they have to be unselected. So pretty much you have to unselect and then you can change those. You can sharpen it. Those are all different things that you can do to your text. And then after you're done, you can then move your text around. One other thing you need to remember though is after you've unselected, if you go back to text to type again, it's just gonna make another text layer. It's not gonna go to the same one. So Control Z will go backwards. Oh no, it doesn't on text. Same as Photoshop, it doesn't go backwards. You can just close the eye. You have to be selected on the T itself. Be, have the text selected, and then you can select it yourself. You have to t click on the letters themselves in order to re-select and highlight. So that is a little bit on how to just put and place text onto your image using the free program Photopia and all the different tools that go along with it. Um, I hope you have fun playing with your own text on your images and have a great day, everybody.